My dad was an engineering student. He came all the way from India on a scholarship to study computer engineering way before I was born. To achieve this, he obviously had to excel in math and science. So what happened to me? Why was math and science so hard? Why did I always feel so lost in dealing with abstract equations and science concepts, especially when I got to high school? One would think, given my dad's background, it would be so easy. Nope. What about you? Quick show of hands. How many people there in high school had a tough time with chemistry and physics and math? See, I'm not alone. There is a big problem. That is, there's a trend that interest level in STEAM subjects starts to go down after middle school and into high school and beyond. Today, most educators analyze the quality of a curriculum based on measuring knowledge and skills. But are we ignoring subjective measurements like attitude, attitude and outcome from this curricula? This is not an easy problem to solve. Teachers are very busy. Educators need objective criteria. And to study attitude effectiveness in general is not easy. And for this problem, I've been thinking of an idea on how to help educators make complicated subjects emotionally appealing so we can connect to those subjects. My answer, spatial immersion. The movement towards wearable headsets and spatial immersion is here. I've been interested in providing AR, VR, gamified educational experiences to enhance STEAM foundation. It's all about stealth learning. That is the magic of a good VR experience through immersive and interactive storytelling. There could be many opportunities for stealth learning, and that could be a very strong solution in helping with that emotional connection. But let's take one step back and provide a little bit more context. Let's look at the learning pyramid. You will see only 10% attributes to lecture and reading. And if you look at the different modalities of the learning, you have visual, audio, reading and writing, and my favorite, kinesthetic. Now let's go back to that learning pyramid. If you look at the bottom, Kinesthetic, or the practice of doing, accounts for 75% retention. That's a whopping 650% increase. I believe it is the right time to harness the power of immersive experiences to drive this format of learning. So, we put our assumptions to work. We ran in-classroom trials like this at a well-known international school. 
We participated in after-school activities like this one at this bilingual school. We even talked to students and we talked to parents to understand if we were correct in our idea. In fact, here are two great quotes from sixth grade students, my favorite. It's better to have, it's better to have this than regular science class. No offense. But there are limitations to this technology. New headsets are still very expensive. It is not easy to collaborate with other people. And when you wear these headsets, you have to wear it for a short amount of time. So we started to think about a hybrid approach, a blended approach, something that combines the power of VR with collaborative learning. Here is a collage of pictures showcasing our hybrid format. It's simple, a workshop that includes a teacher lesson, it includes a hands-on offline project, and it includes VR immersive experience all together in one format. Also, folks, it is very important that we work with teachers and educators like these three to align our experiences with great curriculum. That is the core of our value. We are not here to reinvent education. We are not here to redefine curriculum. Our job is to put together the right ingredients of learning modality plus technology to enhance foundational STEAM learning. It is still very early. But the time is now. With the recent upsurge of AI and other rapid tech advancements, I feel stronger than ever that we need to keep STEAM interesting and fun to deliver positive attitudes and positive outcomes. Let's use this power of immersion. Let's equip the young minds of the future with real critical thinking skills, with real problem-solving skills, and the creativity to thrive in this complex world. And back to my childhood, I wonder if I had an immersive experience to supplement that chemistry class, what if I could have experienced Newton's law of physics in virtual reality? Would I have embraced STEAM education? Would my destiny have been different? I don't know the answer, but I'm sure about one thing. And that is that it is a great time for STEAM educators to find ways to introduce these types of experiences to the classroom and help solve the problem of declining interest. I believe it will inspire, and it is our job to inspire, the next generation of astronauts, teachers, scientists, artists, and STEAM leaders that will shape the world for the better. And now, I will share one video that I feel sums up this entire thing very nicely. To enrich students with experience of astronomy using virtual reality education, so how to create immersive experiences, but support that with an actual lesson. Typically in class, you have a textbook and you have a teacher, but VR is it's a 3D environment, helping students visualize what they're learning. It provides a, a whole real life experience to whatever you learn in the textbook. VR is starting to be accepted as a new solution for schools and for kids. So, Helping a school or an educator understand what's out there is the value that we add. Education's a big, it's a big challenge, but I think there's a lot of opportunity to make a difference, and that's part of what motivates me. That somebody can learn something new and learn it in a fun and interactive way. That is the most rewarding experience of the whole thing. The time 
is now. Thank you very much.